Hey everyone, and welcome to my devlog where I share my experiences with development and hopefully can help you along the way as well. We have been working on an overarching ability system to be used in the game. The purpose of the ability system is to be able to be invoked from any actor in the game. For example, our player will be able to use our ability system to trigger different scriptable abilities we have created. Some of these abilities are the attacking and dashing systems. Our attack chain system takes advantage of this new ability system. In this case, I use the chainable ability type since I want to be able to activate the ability over and over again. For the attack, I use the method of seeing how many times the attack button has been clicked. It will basically add the next attack in the chain to a queue. Once the attack is finished, it will go to the next queued attack. Games use this method a lot since it ends up feeling very responsive when playing. For example, in the game Elden Ring, if you're in the middle of an attack and you click the dodge button, you'll notice that right after the attack finishes, the player dodges backwards. This way it always feels like the player is in control. We implement something similar to this, where when you are attacking, we add an interactable ability for dashing. But when the dash is clicked while attacking, it will actually queue up a short dash backwards, which allows the player to jump out of the way quickly if they realize they are in a precarious situation. In this game, you don't use physical weapons. It is more of an ethereal weapon that can change shape to what you need it to be. As you progress through the game, you'll gain different abilities for this weapon, which can help in different kinds of situations. The other thing we have been working on is a system where you can actually modify your own attack chains to allow you to use attacks that work best for you. For example, you could create a more simple chain which gives you three sword slashes, which may be a little quicker. Or maybe for the last attack in your chain, you want to add a more heavy weapon attack. With our weapon system, the weapon appears in the hand of the player as he performs his attack, and then disappears once the attack ends. This way, we can conjure any weapon that may be needed and chain the different weapon attacks together to make some really interesting and unique gameplay. In our game, dashing is a very important mechanic. For that reason, we actually created the ability to have a lot of different kinds of dashes. These dashes can be equipped onto the player, so as the game progresses, we can change and modify the dash to what we need it to be able to do. The base dash ability for the game is actually a long dash, which will be used for traversal, problem solving, and of course combat. One of the unique things about this dash is it is a toggleable action. We have multiple different types of action types for our abilities. We have ignore, cancelable, blocking, and toggleable. All of these ability types have different uses, but when we use the toggleable ability type, if I click the button on my controller for dashing, and then click the same button again, it will toggle the dash on or off. This allows the player to cancel the dash whenever they need to. We've also added a way for each ability to be able to interact with other ability types. For example, with our dash, we can add an interaction with an attack. What this does is it makes it so we can add specific code for what happens when the player is currently dashing and they click the attack button at the same time. This method makes it really easy to add an attack ability onto our dash and perform an attack animation which interrupts our dash. In the case of trying to solve a puzzle or traverse the world quickly, you can use the full dash to move further distances. Either way, you can use the dash in a way that works best for you. Lastly, I've added in some particle effects, which I can trigger at certain points. When the weapon appears, it can add a really cool effect when the weapon is used. I can also use this in the case of the dash. I'm still trying to learn more about the particle system, so these will definitely improve in the future as well. Now that I'm starting to like our attack and dash ability system a lot more, my next goal is to combine it with our enemy system that I showed in my first dev. I have some fun enemy ideas, so I'm really excited to start working on the combat between the enemies and the player. Anyways everyone, if you have anything you'd like to see in the next video, please let us know in the comments. For those who enjoyed, please consider liking the video. And if you want to see more devlogs like this one, subscribing with the notification bell on will help you stay up to date. Thanks for joining me for this devlog, and I'll see you next time.